Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode, it is my Boxy Lux unboxing. This giant massive box. It's not as big as the last one, for sure, but it's pretty big. I think I'm gonna recycle this, put somebody's Christmas gift in it, and then wrap it, because it's actually like the right size. They're gonna be confused for like 10 seconds when they unwrap it and it says boxy charm. Maybe I shouldn't do that. But anyways. <laughs> So I am very excited about this box. There were a lot of things in there that were customizable. Like I got to pick the color of one item. Um, and then I also got to pick one item like specifically. It was between two things in the box. So I'm really excited to get into it and start using this stuff. I really love whoever planned the Boxylux release of every three months. I love that they went ahead and decided that December would be one of them because honestly... It has a lot of nice pampering stuff, which you need in December because you're just going crazy buying a bunch of stuff for everybody else, except for me, because I, I, I just went shopping and I, I bought these. I'm waiting to see if my allergy is going to react to them. They say hypoallergenic. We'll see. But besides that, let's get in the box. I had a moment to go through the box and kind of put everything in order of like how I would normally use them. Just because whenever this box comes, there's so much stuff in it. And I mean, that's the point. That's the point of Boxylux is that you get a ton of stuff. So I just kind of had to put it in order. Otherwise, I'm scrambling. And I should have. I never do this. But I should have looked at it to, like the day before to see what was in it to like plan it out better. Because I actually washed and styled my hair before sitting down to make this video like I woke up washed my hair whatever blah 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 turns out there's a hair towel in here <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about that first even though I'm not gonna use it uh, let's see this is the daily concepts daily hair towel wrap and it goes for $18 um, I don't really think that it's too big of a deal that I don't use this because it's a hair towel um, in my experience hair towels absorb water uh, I actually do love the style of hair wrap, though, because I, you know, I normally wrap my hair, like, in a long towel, and I don't know if you guys know this, because obviously I did this, I started doing videos, like, way after, but when I was younger, I wasn't allowed to cut my hair until I was 18 years old, so I had hair, like, well past my knees, and I needed to use these big bath towels to wrap my hair after I washed it um, now that I'm older and I'm allowed to cut my hair whatever length I want these are actually really great because they're not just this massive towel on my head and they're fairly easy to use oh my god you know for the longest time I, I was using them the wrong way actually so basically uh, the gist is you flip your hair forward This button thing goes on the back, and then you twist it, right? Look for this little elastic bit here, and button it like this. I don't know if you can see this. I can't tell if it's on the camera because I'm backwards. But yeah, <laughs> so that's the idea. But you know, better than this. And I've never used one of these when my hair was dry. <laughs> actually, though, I am going to keep it on because the next thing in the box is actually a face wash. Let's see. This is the Fresh Soy Cleanser. Uh, this is a gel cleanser for all skin types. It has a cult following for the way it removes makeup, even mascara, without drying soft, supple skin. Ooh, Okay. So this goes for $48. I was actually about to wash my face with this, but I think I'm going to save this for the end of the video because if it's known for removing makeup, that's probably what I should be showing you guys. So, I mean, I did just take a shower and wash my face. It's probably best I don't wash it again, which means I can remove the towel. Ta-da! Olé! So, well, there goes one thing. I'm glad I started dropping things in the video early. I will save this for the end of the video. And we'll go on to the next thing. Okay. The next thing in the box that I can actually use. <laughs> this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Face Rose Facial Oil. 
This is a luxurious and lightweight facial oil infused with a precious trio of rose extracts. And this goes for $79. This, I think, yes, this was definitely the item in the, in the boxy looks that we were able to choose from. It was this and something by Saturday Skin, I think. And I really wanted to try this because I'm a little obsessed with rose infused things. And even the box, like as soon as you open it, smells like roses. So if the smell of roses is something you don't enjoy, not for you. I know a lot of people who don't like the smell of roses and I don't understand why because it smells so fresh and floral to me and I like that like clean smell. Also it reminds me of a Polly Pocket I had. It was a little clear blue rose with a clear pink rose on top and it came with perfume to put in the pink rose that like popped off separately from the Polly Pocket. Ugh, I used to love those toys. They were so great. Anyways, let's get to using this. But there is a thing in here that I want to use it with. And it is the Cosmetics Facial Roller. This hexagon-shaped cosmetics facial roller is an innovative beauty tool used to improve the visibility of fine lines, enhance skin texture, and uplift fatigued skin. And this goes for $69. And let's be honest, the way they phrase that sounds like this is supposed to help make your fine lines visible. Like, a tool used to improve the visibility of fine lines. Are you trying to make me look older or younger? What's going on here? But, you know, that's just the bookworm in me. Reading into every fine detail. All right. I remember when this, something similar to this, or... The original one of these came out. I think it was like Nurse something. I forget the name of it. Nurse Nancy or Frida. Something like that. <sighs> I'm going to clip this back. And to be honest, I'm not actually sure this is supposed to be used as a sort of serum infuser. It rolls nicely. <laughs> I really, it's very smooth. There's no like clicking or anything. I mean, you hear that, but it, it you don't feel the click, I guess, is what I mean to say. But even if it's not for infusing oil, I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. And I love this little bottle because it has this pink on the bottom. It's super cute. And you know, because it's an oil, it absorbs nicely into your skin. So it's not bad for your hands. Now I'm going to take this and just do, do, do. Maybe I should look at the uh, instructions and see how I'm supposed to be rolling this. Am I rolling it correctly? Am I supposed to also dance naked under the full moon? Let's see. Wow. So it comes with this little card thing. All right, so for forehead, okay, so it's to start with the forehead. Roll gently around your forehead up and down. All right. Maybe I should be more gentle. Move slightly from chin to eyes. The movement should be practically or particularly gentle on sensitive skin. I mainly like how cold this is. I always like cold things on my face. It feels nice. Hold roller gently. Roll between chest and clavicle. Well, I'm wearing my Elsa t-shirt. That's not gonna happen. Huh. Then you can do the arm. Skin is very soft. Please gently roll in vertical and horizontal direction or left and right. Apparently you can use this anywhere from your head to your calves. So, all right. Oh, probably should have read this. It says here, if you have a pacemaker or electronic implant device, have metal allergies, which I do, uh, have epilepsy, seizures, or active cancer, are pregnant, or under the age of 18, or if you have any medical concerns, please consult your doctor before using this beauty tool. What the heck is this doing that I have to consult my doctor? 
I'm going to put this down now. Let's move on. This next thing in the box is extremely interesting to me. This is the M Green Grass Dry Oil Spray in the scent Beach Air. This says that it's a fast absorbing multi-purpose dry oil spray which is formulated with a blend of high quality oils that quickly penetrate delivering superior moisture leaving skin soft and luminous without feeling greasy. This goes for $36 and the reason it's so interesting to me is because on the bottle itself it says multi-use for body, face, and hair. Like that's kind of like really awesome because uh, like I love products that cover a whole set of different things because then I feel more inclined to give them my money. And it's like, oh, if the only purpose is specifically to moisturize my ankles and just my ankles, then it's like, keep your product. I'm not giving you $36, but this can go everywhere. And as long as the smell isn't too strong, I would definitely use this in my hair because you know, those of us who bleach their hair know the struggles of dryness that happens afterwards. So I'm going to give this guy a whiff. And you know what? That's a really soft, fresh scent. When I hear beach air, I guess I assume it's going to smell a little saltier like the ocean, but it doesn't. It's a very soft, clean smell. Honestly, I would say it's more fresh linen than beach air. Okay. I'll try that on my hand. Mm. Yeah, my hands have been excessively dry this winter in ways that I never really expected it to be. I guess last winter was pretty bad, but this one, because it's a bit colder and the air is drier, which is weird because it's Florida. I love, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I love that it's in a spray bottle because now I can just kind of spray my cuticles with it and then rub it in. Any way that makes it faster and easier for me, I'm, I'm gonna love it. I have a brush pen that I make with oil and I just stroke it on, but I think spraying it gets, you know, more of my nails at once than just putting it on individually. Mm. All right, and I'm gonna try spraying a little bit of this in my ends here. Let's see. I just started spraying without even reading. Uh, the, the instructions say to spray and massage the oil directly onto your skin. For hair, spray the oil onto your palms and run through the tips of your hair to disperse evenly. I've already done that wrong. Uh, then it says for face, spray the oil into your hands and apply to face where needed. I don't know if I'd put this on my face uh, just because there's it's not a lot of fragrance but it's fragrance directly on my face where I already put the rose oil and I can smell a lot of rose I don't want to put scent on scent on scent right under my nose but um I guess I am going to spray this onto my palms and then run it through my hair and now I have tons of it in there and I hope it doesn't get too greasy we'll find out although it does say it's non-greasy and I just had my ends cut so that I wouldn't have my have trouble running my fingers through my hair but it's so dry that it happens anyway the only other choice is to cut it all off and go short and curly again which I don't hate but my hair takes a long time to grow out hmm. all right I'm going to let that absorb into my hair and then like just after, excuse me, I do it again. I will let you guys know if it feels like it absorbed, if it feels like it's weighing it down. I definitely feel like maybe too much spray will definitely make it smell more, obviously. Logic. So maybe don't apply as much as I did. You know, read the instructions first before you do anything. That's what they're for, right? All right, guys, this is it. This is the main event. The thing I was the most excited about out of every single box that I got this year from BoxyCharm, this is the one thing that when I saw 
um, on Instagram, the spoiler, I literally screamed like from excitement. My dogs jumped off the couch and left the room. They were like, uh, uh, I'm not here for this nonsense, but I didn't even care because this is the Storybooks Cosmetics Little Briar Rose Palette. This goes for $55. If you guys don't know about Storybook Cosmetics, they make tons, like not tons. They have several different palettes that are like this that look like a book. I mean, look at this. And they're based off of actual stories. Like they have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for the book. Right. They have um, a witchcraft and wizardry one, which is supposed to be for, you know, Harry Potter. But they can't, you know, say Harry Potter because, you know, copyright and whatnot. But they have so many. They even have a Mean Girls one, actually. Um, but I'm a huge fan of fairy tales. Like, huge my mother had this old tattered book that she would read to us from when we were kids. And I mean, this book was literally broken in half, <laughs> but she would still read to it from, a, uh, from it for us. And if you think my voice is soothing, which I know a lot of you have said that, my mother's is like ridiculous. I, I mean, I would actually ask her to read stuff now as an adult because her voice is just like so mellow. But anyways, getting off topic... So I love fairy tales. I have Hans Christian Andersen. I have the Grimm's fairy tales. I have the blue fairy book. I have all of them. I collect them in hardcovers. So when I saw this, I just sort of freaked out because I'm a huge fan and I really could not wait. Now look at this. Like, look at these beautiful colors. This palette is so beautiful to me. Like just looking at it, looking at the colors forget the fact that it's a fairy tale book and I'm totally obsessed just look at the colors I feel like they planned it out so well they're so beautiful like there's clearly colors that you can do like a, a natural everyday look with then there's colors right over here that you can do brighter bolder looks with they're just beautiful and when I swatched them oh my goodness they were so easy to swatch. A lot of eyeshadows that I've tried out are not difficult to swatch, but you know, sometimes they're a little chalky or they don't streak properly, but these were just smooth and beautiful and I love them so much. And this is the first time I've had a storybook cosmetic item because they're kind of pricey. I mean, $55 for a palette, that's kind of a lot. So I was super excited to see this and I cannot wait to try something on my face with it. So let's get started. I'm starting off by putting Briar Rose in my crease. It's a really beautiful pinky coral color and I like how it looks on my lid by itself. I think at some point I'm gonna have to do like a softer look with just that, maybe some like light tan in the middle or something. It's just really beautiful. I would use a Woodland. Woodland from this palette is my skin tone so it's almost like there's nothing on my eyes. I actually put down my Shape Tape eye primer and I set it with Woodland. Next, I'm taking Spindle and I'm just blending it in the lower portion of the crease area with Briar Rose. Those colors work really nicely together. And then I'm taking Grim and I'm using that on my lid. It's a beautiful burgundy, it's very deep, very rich. My only issue with that, um, there were two colors in here. They, the rest of them swatched really great, but I think it was Grim and Thorn that they, they're the mattes. For some reason, those two came off a little more chalky than the other mattes, which were Briar Rose and Spindle. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's something to do with the pigment in it, but the rest of them were very smooth and buttery. It was just those two, Grim and Thorn, that were just a little drier to work with. Because Grimm is such a deep color, I'm really trying to not overdo it too quickly. That does happen a lot with darker colors where I initially just start throwing it on my eye with complete disregard to the fact that now I look like I have a black eye. It did say in the packaging that I could use them wet or dry, so I picked out the setting spray from the box and I put it with Beauty. 
and oh my goodness it was such a difference and so gorgeous like once I did that it had a very foiled look to it so I would definitely recommend using setting spray with the metallic colors which were Talia, Castle, Prince, Enchanted Beauty, Fairies. The only one that wasn't a metallic but still has glitter in it is Kiss. It's a pink color with like gold glitters in it. Super pretty. I'm taking Prince now on a small pencil brush and I'm just uh, smudging it in, under my eye with just the slightest bit of grim so that it blends a little bit purple and then you can see the blue. I'm done with the eyeshadow portion. I'm just going to hit myself up with some ooh, mascara and eyeliners, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm not sure that I like how my eye look came out, but that's more on my skill level, or lack thereof, than of the palette. The eyeshadows are beautiful. They are pigmented. I was trying to work slowly so as not to go too bold too quickly, that tends to be something that happens to me a lot. Like I just smash that brush in there and just like start beating my eye until it's all like red. So I feel like I maybe went a little too bold this time. But that's just my personal thing. Um, there are a lot of colors in there that I cannot wait to work with. I can definitely do like a nice dreamy romantic look. Because it has all those soft pinks. And especially this Enchanted. This one, this Talia came out much more red than I wanted it to but the Enchanted is the perfect champagne sort of rose goldish glitter it's just amazing and when I read in the card that they work well wet and or dry I decided to use the setting spray that came in the set and let me tell you when you wet these metallic ones it's like just chef's kiss beautiful I love it I cannot wait to use this more and honestly I want to display it. I want to put it like in a place where everybody can see it because it's so freaking pretty. But that is the eyeshadow palette. Let us move on because I cannot sing its praises anymore. No more. So the next thing is actually a highlight. This is the Ciate London Confetti Highlighter. It is $32. You uh, Achieve a Sun's Kiss Glow with the highlighter featuring mixed shades that have been pressed together for a radiant highlight in one sweep. All right, let's crack this get open. I have a little bit of highlight, but it kind of blended in too well, if you know what I mean. It's a little gone. And I love these little Ciate London compacts. They are so shiny. <laughs> it's like inception. You can see me in here, then you see the reflection in there, and it's like going deeper and deeper and deeper until you're just lost forever. So don't look too hard. As you can see, they're like these little flecks. That's why they call it the confetti highlighter. Let's see. I'm using my brush roll from ColourPop. I just bought their Bare Essentials one, and I'm looking for a decent highlight. Oh, I think this would be the highlighter brush, if not the contour brush. Boop. This is the F21. It's. I think this is more of a contour, but I'm just going to use it for highlight because I don't have all the other ones. All my brushes are dirty, except for these new ones. So, let's get some highlight on there. Ooh, yes. Can you see me now? Oh yeah, I like that. That's a nice highlighter. Very, very nice. And I'm going to put more on just because, why not? I mean, it's dark and rainy outside. When I leave the house, somebody has to bring light into the world, right? It's probably not going to be me. Oh, darn it, I just saw a bit of mascara. That is ruining my look. And it's going to keep doing it because it's not coming off. This brush isn't small enough for that. 
All right, we are quickly approaching the end of this. Um, I like the color. I think it's a little more difficult to blend. I'd like something a little easier to blend. I think maybe shorter brushes would work better. As I said, this brush is not a highlight brush, but, or I don't even know. I don't even know if it's supposed to be. I should look that up. All right, the next thing is the Too Faced Rich and Dazzling Lip Gloss. This goes for $21 and it has a sparkle and shine with each twinkling shade. Ugh. Okay, here's my thing. Most of the time when BoxyCharm sends me a liquid lipstick, it's perfect. It's right on the nose. The shades I like, they work well. But whenever they send me a lip gloss, I think there's only been one that I've liked. And it's the one that didn't have glitter. Because these glittery lip glosses, like I'm not 12. You know, it doesn't, I just don't think it's cute. Personally, I mean, if you think it's cute, you do you. I can't say anything about it because guess what? I'm not your mom. But personally, I just... I don't know, this just reminds me of, like, sixth grade when everybody's wearing this, like, glitterly, glitterly, this glitter lipstick or um, lip gloss because, you know, their mom's finally letting them put makeup on and that is, what, for whatever reason, the first thing they found. Yeah, no me gusta. It smells nice, though. I'll give it that. Also, lip gloss never dries down. It's just sticky forever. If I wanted that on my face, I would just eat a bowl of jelly and deal with it. Yeah, I don't like it. No, it's just, it's too cutesy. And, like, which is bizarre considering that I really go for a lot of cutesy stuff, like for the packaging. The packaging is adorable, I love that. It's just, I don't know. I don't like cutesy for my face. I'm a grown up, damn it. So I'm gonna go put on a lipstick I do like, cause I am going out soon, and then I'll get to the last thing. So now that my whole face is done, I'm going to show you guys the In Beauty Power Up Dual Phase setting face mist. This energizing face mist is the pick-me-up you need to get through the day and night. Special bi-phase formula instantly activates and transforms as you shake it. Get ready to power up. <laughs> Formulated with our even autumn complex, which helps even the look of redness, blotchiness, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and dullness. Naturally colored and scented with energizing aromatic from plant. This goes for $32. I've never... Excuse me. All right, that's good. I just knocked it over. It's fine. Everything's fine. Back to it. I've never heard of this brand before. Ever. Anybody else heard of them? What is it called? In Beauty? Never. But it is a setting spray and I just did my whole face and I should set it whether or not I care for the way my eyeshadow came out so let me just my fan is on so this is gonna blow everywhere Letting it dry now. I mean, it's a setting spray. There's really nothing I can say until I see how long it lasts and what it does. Uh, well, but anyway, so that is the last item I have in the box to show you other than the soy cleanser, which I will use when I come back home from shopping. I finally figured out what I had get to get for my mother for Christmas because let me tell you, she is the most unmaterialistic person on the planet. I give her stuff all the time and like, it's nothing. She'd just rather spend time with me. How crazy is that? A mother who wants to spend time with her children. My God. <laughs> so I have to go out, find her present and do other errands and stuff. So I'll be back. See you guys soon. Bye. Ooh. 
<laughs> I'm so tired. I just got back from shopping. I got some of like the last minute gifts I had to get for some people. But the one thing I can't find um, are blue goblets. I'm looking for a set of like four to six blue glass, like drinking glasses for my mom because she's redoing her kitchen and now she's all navy blue is the best. And I'm like, woman, my kitchen is navy blue. What are you doing? But whatever, I can forgive her because she's my mother and she gave birth to me and whatever. Um, but I am still looking. I'll hopefully find them. Other than that, I'm going to go wash my face right now with the soy cleanser. I would do a whole camera thing, but I need to take a shower. I got super sweaty. I smell. Ooh, and I have something in my eye. Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to wash my face with the soy cleanser. I'll come back to a quick update. And uh, also, I'd just like to point out that I bought these earrings while I was out. They were $2.88 at Walmart, and they say hypoallergenic. We'll see. I'm going to wear them for a while. If they start to itch, then I know they're a lie. All right, be right back. I just got out of the shower. I am all fresh and sitting on my sweater. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, I had to go over my lipstick area a couple of times because it refused to budge. It's a matte lipstick what is what lipstick is that? Uh, it's the Wet n Wild. Ah, here it is. The Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Rebel Rose, which I really like. Uh, it stayed on this whole time. I even went out to eat and it wasn't an issue. But, <laughs> sorry about banging the microphone. But this really did not have a chance. Like, I had to do it, I think, twice to really remove all of it. It's not very sudsy because it's not mostly a, like soap. I think it's like the least bit soap and then a lot of other natural ingredients because it has amino acids. It gently cleanses the face and eyes, which is why there's not a lot of soap in there. And it smells like cucumber, like a hundred percent. I'm not kidding. If they took a cucumber and blended it and shoved it into a tube, that's what it would smell like. It was actually really refreshing and nice. It handled mostly everything. I still have a bit of mascara around my eyes and eyeliner and I don't know if it's eyeliner. I think it's mostly mascara. Uh, but I can just take care of that no problem with my micellar water. I don't think it's a huge issue. I know once people read that it said it even gets rid of mascara, no problem, that they're probably like, well, if it didn't get rid of mascara, it's a liar. But, I mean, granted, it's not my favorite. <laughs> I have my favorite face wash, and that is um, actually the prescription one that my dermatologist gave me because or sold me at a very high price for crying out loud but I needed it because I had like really bad acne problems so that's my favorite this one not so much I like god there's another one I can't remember the name of the brand of it I'm trying to see if I can get off it actually doesn't even look like there's anything coming off it's just like a slight pink maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm just that tired <laughs> where it looks like I have clumps of mascara left. I mean, it's just the littlest bits. So I guess I'm complaining about nothing. Mm, I still feel like I may have a little bit of lipstick on. If I did have any makeup on, it's definitely the micellar water would pick it up. All right, so I did have some lipstick, but not a lot. As you can see, it's a little pink. This like bright light doesn't help. See that pink? There it is. Yeah, I had a lot of foundation on my forehead. Yeah, there's still some foundation on there. I mean, it's a gentle cleanser. If you don't wear as much makeup as I had on today, it might work perfectly for you. Um, if you're a heavier wake makeup wearer, then maybe not. Uh, I had Let's see. My foundation is the Juvia's Place, the Bogota, and then I had uh, the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer and tan latte. So that plus their setting spray, which when I got home, my makeup was still fabulous. My hair was frizzy and less curly because it's been raining all day, but it was set in place. So, all right. Well, other than that, um, 
I mean, that's it. That's the last thing. That's the last thing in the box. It was, oh wow, this soy cleanser goes for $48. I don't know if I would spend 40. Okay, I'm not going to say I don't know. What's wrong with me? The truth is, I 100% know. I'm not going to spend $48 on a face wash that I tried it right now, and I didn't even really like it. So, yeah. I wouldn't spend $48 on this. I mean, every so often, there's that thing that you would definitely spend the money on. It's just not this. For sure, I'd spend my money on that Storybook Cosmetics palette. I would spend my money on that all day long. I'm going to definitely buy some stuff after Christmas, and I'm not broke anymore for buying presents for everybody else. And some stuff for myself. <laughs> all right, guys. That's it. I'm just going to finish cleansing my face and go to sleep. All right, guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.